Well, good morning, friends and family. Today I'm headed to my absolute favorite nursery here in uh, Overland Park, Kansas. This is an amazing, amazing landscape. They are nursery. They have stuff all over the place. I would recommend if you're ever in um, this part of the woods to come in here. There, there are things that you wouldn't believe. I just, it's one of my favorite nurseries. As I said, I'm gonna put the camera down here pretty soon. I, I hate to film, put people on film when they're not expecting it, but it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Kinda, kinda gonna go in and out of here. I came specifically for the planters. I've got some planter ideas that I'm gonna put in the garden. If you remember, um, I do have a few of the planters that I'm looking for. Actually, there's a few back there in the background. Um, these were uh, some that I put on my uh, patio, back backyard patio by the hot tub. I brought my mother-in-law and my wife here on Mother's Day. It was absolutely berserk here. The amount of people <laughs> in the lines is a great thing to see because we're supporting these nurseries, which means they're going to continue to bring in some wonderful plants and stuff. Um, you know, if you go to, and I'm not going to call out any names, but if you go to certain nurseries... Uh, or it's more of the box stores. They bring in these awesome plants and you're like, yes. And if you're, you're not, if your knowledge isn't as wise to, uh, you know, the zones that you particular zone you live in and other, um, uh, other, other variables, I would say to, um, landscaping, you run a risk of purchasing something that's really beautiful, but might not be in your zone. And, these nurseries do a wonderful job of only selling the things that that are going to be, um, you know, work in your in your zone. And so I, I run I ran that risk myself going to uh, some of these box stores early on in my career, uh, starting um, with landscaping and doing whatnots in my garden. And I would lose them and I could not figure out why, because my knowledge wasn't there and I hadn't been experienced in the garden, you know, as a new homeowner uh, and that type of stuff. And so I was purchasing these wonderful things. I just thought, wow, these nurseries uh, jack up the price way more than what these box stores were. And then lo and behold, our uh, first spring that it would, you know, the this particular plant, whatever it might be, or tree was supposed to come out of it, um, never made it. and that's when I started to find out about zones and why these trees and and uh, different shrubs wouldn't make it. So I'll kind of make my way through here. I'm just kind of trying to find a quiet spot while I kind of lead into this uh, video. But I just want you to know that if you're in uh, ever in Overland Park, Kansas, this nursery is absolutely by far one of the most uh, well-known and, and most beautiful gardens with such high selection and wonderful staff. I've I've never, you know, you can kind of get into that, you know, those holidays where people kind of get grumpy and, and there's just, everybody's pulling them in every which way. But I'm telling you guys, these, the staff is the most wonderful staff. They do everything they can um, to get you set up and on your way. So um, I'll kind of just quiet down and kind of take you through here real quick and just show you all the absolute beauties. Then we're going to go plan out, uh, catch some planters so I can take home and get my garden ready to, uh, to um, plant. So let's go take a look.
so this is going to turn out to be a fun little project for me i'm not sure i purchased these about three weeks ago i don't know what i <laughs> what i recorded in my phone or on this camera because my mind is kind of scrambled right now getting back from vacation so if i have to redo it um or share i share information that is shared twice i do apologize i will edit it the best i can but if not i'm mike toomey and welcome to moxie gardens today we're going to plant up these planters right underneath these birch trees if you've been following me for any length of time you will know that this garden used to flood really bad and i'm new to gardening within the last seven eight years and teaching myself i learned a lot off of youtube and doing a lot of research and going to botanical gardens going to the zoo just kind of just kind of finding out how things work i'm still developing my mind and learning so much but i purchased these birch trees because i knew they soak up a lot of moisture this was a flooded area every time it rained we get a lot of rain in the spring here um, even when it snows uh, this could stay wet for several months until it dried out so and we've got the heavy clay as you know and so um, i had to figure out a way well i purchased these birch trees lined them up here i got three and they just did the job wonderfully i don't have any um you know areas of need where where it gets too much moisture in fact during the summer it's quite opposite i'm having to add more moisture to the ground because these suckers they drink up everything um, and the flooding is all fixed and all that but these these uh birch trees played a mega role that being said they are hard to plant under and anything i do plant under there i'm constantly have to feed a bunch of uh time to that area so that would be something you would want to um, pay attention to if you're thinking about buying birch, tr birch trees and you think you're going to uh, plant any type of bedding around it. Um, you might have success where you're at, but I'm not having the success that I would like. So therefore, I've decided to elevate this garden to um, something I've never done before, and that's add a lot of planters, and specifically add planters. We're so typical about putting planters in front of you know, your garages or on a porch. Um, I'm taking this whole approach from things I've learned and seen and I'm going to start getting this in, incorporating it into the garden beds. Um, if you watch my last video, I s set up uh, what four, four pots with some succulents. Turned out really well. That was my last video, so feel free to go in and look at that. Turned out really nice. Um, I picked the succulents, one because of the design of each one. They've got the little funky flavor to each one of them. I really like that element. And I'll have to, the zone 6, 6A in kansas i'll have to take those in during the winter or figure out something because i don't want to lose lose those but secondly um they're no fuss and that's what i'm kind of going at if you've um paid attention to this garden you know i'm trying not to get them no fuss at first i went out and i wanted a one or two or three or seven of everything and it just not it's not feasible in my garden because i don't have enough time to give it the attention so that being said, I'm taking the garden to a whole new approach here and, and in my mind, I've never done this, like I said, so I'm sitting here in front of this and I didn't mean to match. I'm just now noticing that I matched those. So um, yeah, so this is going to be something fun. I can't wait for all the different seasons so that we can do something different here. That's going to be fun. But right now we're going to try to plant these up. I think this particular job that I'll be sharing with you, I just want to do one thing throughout all of them and hopefully it works for some of these small ones i really think i bought a bunch of hydrangeas got a really good deal on them um, from a box store um, i will put in the link where i got these it's one of my favorite nurseries there's two of my favorite nurseries um, here in the kansas city area family tree nursery that's where i got those and if i i didn't share like i told you i'm kind of going to figure out what i've recorded and what i didn't and try to blend it all in so you don't get the information twice but if I don't share it, Family Tree Nursery, favorite one of my favorite nurseries, and the second nursery is, um, I would draw a blank during this moment, um, Suburban Lawn and Landscape. You get golf carts and you ride around, and so both have wonderful staffs, both have unique items, and really, it's just a lot of fun to, to go into those local nurseries. Anyway, so I got these from uh, one of my favorite, so, um, I'll add that in the description. We'll figure out where we go from there. But uh, if you're local or you're going to be passing by the Kansas City uh, metro area, look those up and you'll you'll find some wonderful things. If not even if you don't buy anything, it's still they're still really really fun to go into, 
and really friendly and knowledgeable staff. Okay, let's move on. So we're going to plant these up. I'm gonna use a bunch of hydrangeas, same one, and we're gonna plant them up. And I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I've never used one item for a whole uh, large section. So um, let's just see what it takes us. And then, like I said, I can't wait till we hit the different seasons and we can do mums and we can do bulbs and we can do pansies and we can just kind of mix this up and it's going to be a lot of fun and the next project i bring to you will be the mulching so it won't be a finished project we'll be mulching around these and getting it all cleaned up uh in-laws are coming down for a royals game in two weeks so i kind of want it to be really nice so i can impress them so that being said let's get these in there and uh see where it takes us So I think they're turning out great, I really do. Except for, I'm gonna throw an audible in there. There's a little bit of space in some of these. So I've got some potato vine that I was gonna use on some other projects. I'm gonna steal from that project, add some potato vine on there on the front side, give it a little bit of color for a little bit darker space. And then I've got some ferns that I was gonna use for another project. Maybe borrow from that area and um, add to this and we'll see how it turns out. But Sometimes you gotta throw an audible, right? Let's get them planted. Okay, friends, if you're used to this garden channel, you will know I am headed from the front yard to the backyard. This is the side garden. What a wonderful little treat as I walk through here every day. That little sunshine back there drawing me in. How much fun is this? But I really want to show you 
um, that clematis over there. It's funny, that was gifted to me, so I don't know the name. I'm sure I could research it or take a picture of it. There's so many ways to figure these things out. It just hasn't occurred to me that I needed to know it. Um, probably wouldn't be bad. I could put it in my journal that it's at certain heights or broke ground during the season, but we just cut that back a couple months ago, got it ready for the season. What a beautiful, beautiful way to enter the backyard. My wife always asks me, why don't you call it a backyard? And I'm like, it's more than a backyard to me. I feel like it's it's a little bit more. So we're going to come through here. This is why I wanted to share with you. Yeah, so look how much fun that is. I've got that little uh, metal and wood design there on the side. We come up on this and it just thinks it turned out so well. Really packed in the plants. Um, I threw an audible. So if you were one of those ones that just went from front to back of the video and missed it i threw in an audible i had some empty space and then i had some plants that i had reserved for another project so we threw some potato vines some ferns and then we used all those hydrangeas that i talked about we got them all in there and i think it turned out absolutely wonderful it's funny because when i first started this project all you could see was the blue from the planters and now it's really kind of blended in well kind of slowly turn you guys around here it blends in so well it still gives me that color and that interest and it really uh, is a showstopper as you walk into that the back garden so that can be some inspiration if you have a spot underneath some type of tree or you've got an area that you can't grow something because somebody had something there before you moved in and the grounds were i think it would be a great opportunity for you to think up your own thinker and come up with something fun like this i think it turned out so well i'll throw some water on these here pretty quick it is starting to rain but again it's underneath that uh tree there so it takes a little bit harder rain to get down there penetrate these planters um ignore those bricks that are underneath elevating this uh project i will be filling that in soon with some black mulch again i am a little bit more behind because the season really took off this year and so i'm just a little bit behind um, and that's okay I think it turned out well. I'm going to swing you around. If you missed the last video that I put out um, yesterday or so, depending on when I post this, I put out a planter video of these succulents. I think they turned out pretty darn cute. Feel free to go back and watch that. That would be great. Look how much fun that is. All this color. Again, not a big succulent guy, but the no fuss and the opportunity to add another piece to the garden another conversation point really makes me excited and happy and and it fills in another another space that i really wanted to do something fun with i'm always nervous about starting something new because you just don't want to invest the money and it not turn out so well but i think this turned out so cute so wonderful i'll go in and i'll remove the rest of the tags cut a bunch off but i can see a few in the background anyways let me know what you're thinking you you happy with it maybe inspire you a little bit what are you doing with uh planters um i did drop my email in there i'm not sure can you send pictures in email i'd love to see what you guys are doing in your garden um that last video i shared well, my email and that i would like to hear from you and especially if you want to if you're going to be close to town or be in the city at the time sometime before august or wait july and want to come visit the garden we can try to work out something um, I got a lot of feedback it's funny because a lot of people on there was said I am too scared to comment because somebody else might make a comment so uh, imagine being on my shoes it's tough tough city but anyways thank you guys all for watching um, hit the like hit the subscribe share this and let's continue to grow this channel together I appreciate all that you guys um, comment thank you for the emails that you're sending in. and like I said if you've got uh, if you've got something you want to share share it with me I think it would be great I love seeing gardens you can hear probably my enthusiasm about this is kind of just from life and I'm really happy when I'm when I'm involved in some gardening somehow and and it was an accident right and just didn't even know this was who I was until I moved into this property so happy little accident happens and uh, it turned out really well for my health so Thank you guys for watching once again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.